Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to fix WhatsApp verification code, not receive problem. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest software just under this video. So let's get started. So first thing that we want to do here is we first have to troubleshoot our WhatsApp application. So first thing you want to do here is we want to ensure that we have the latest permissions and a few things that we want to change on the WhatsApp application itself. So first thing is locate your mobile, uh, your application on your mobile, which is for WhatsApp. Just press and hold on it and you want to choose app info. Now from here, what you need to do is you want to click on clear all data here and from here, just click on OK. So if you see two options here that says clear data or clear cache, choose the clear data option. So what we're doing here is we're basically clearing up all of the data that we have right now locally on our device. So make sure that you, when you actually do this, you have a backup of your uh, messages on your WhatsApp. So if you haven't backed up your messages on whatsapp you might want to contemplate if you want to proceed with clearing all data here but yeah so best thing here clear all the data you have right now and next thing you want to do here is we want to go ahead and edit our permissions go go ahead and click on app permissions and from here if you see any of the permissions that is not allowed on whatsapp you want to ensure that any of the permissions required here is actually enabled so go ahead and click on that permission and just click on allow and you can go back it's going to automatically update it as you can see it is now allowed now once you've done that you could go ahead and uh, change a few things again here so the next thing you want to do here is we want to go to other permissions and from here, if you uh, see any important permission that is required for WhatsApp, like for example, the permanent notification, display pop up, show lock screen, you could go ahead and enable those as well. Now, once you've done that, you, uh, you could go ahead and proceed with the login process. So in here, go ahead and open up WhatsApp. And from here, go ahead and just try logging in. Now, if that doesn't solve your issue, there is a few things that you should know here. So sometimes if you don't have proper network coverage, as you can see right now, my uh, my network coverage right now is about half, but I am still able to receive my messages in this state. So if your uh, coverage is a very minimum, so if you, you only have one bar, then you might want to consider relocating somewhere where the signal is quite strong so that it guarantees that you'll be able to receive your verification code. So in here, just click on agree and continue. And here you also have to guarantee that you actually enter the correct phone number. So if you don't enter your correct phone number here, then most probably you will not be able to get your verification code. But yeah, so if you have those two, th two things guaranteed, if you entered your correct phone number and as well as the uh, network coverage on your uh, mobile phone, uh, you could go ahead and just try logging in and see if that's also an issue. Now, if that doesn't solve the issue, well, the next best thing that we could do here is just contact WhatsApp support. So the, the easiest way for you to contact WhatsApp support here, because sometimes in, in things you report via the application itself is not optimal. So as you can see, when I click on the tree dot icon here and go to help, it's not to it's not going to basically uh, redirect me to support immediately. It's going to say pro problem detected and I won't be able to uh, write my, a, a detailed information about my problem. So let's just go back here. Go to any browser to have your mobile phone. Go to google.com and search for the following, which is going to be WhatsApp support. Go ahead and open up the first link that is for WhatsApp. And it says contact support or contact WhatsApp. And here you want to search for WhatsApp messenger support and just click on the contact us button there. Now here you need to provide the following number, the information. So that includes your phone number, your email address, and the confirmation for your email address. Now here it's also going to ask you how do you use WhatsApp. Choose Android if you're using Android or iPhone or the other 
options here you could go ahead and choose that if you if, if that's the device that you're currently using and also the message below here so make sure that you explain that you are unable to receive verification code on your mobile device and you need assistance on getting this fix so once you've explained it make sure to be detailed as much as you can on this specific request here and from here you should be able to see a button that says send report or send a ticket. But if you don't see the button here, as you can see on my screen here, sometimes it's going to be glitchy. Click on the tree dotted icon at the top right and choose desktop side here. And from here, you should be able to see the button that says next step. Now, once you've done that, just click on next step. It's going to ask you other details as well. So make sure that you just enter any details that I require until you get to the final step and you'll be able to submit this ticket. And you just need to wait on your email address uh, for WhatsApp to actually contact you on what solutions you could get. You could get. Although this solution is quite the lengthy process because you'll be contacted via email address and it might take a few days even, uh, I mean, uh, so, I mean around one to two days so it depends on the speed itself but yeah so this is the best, best method if you're still having problems on your whatsapp and that's about it so thank you for watching if you have any questions feel free to ask the comment section if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful you could use the link in the description to subscribe see you in the next video